So today I'm replacing the seals on my Roloff Speed Hub. Uh, Roloff actually has a pretty good video on this, but I had trouble finding it. Uh, might be because the title's in German, uh, but I'll provide a link to that down below. Uh, the parts you see here I got from SJS Cycles in the UK. Um, there's a specialized tool for pressing in the seal and also for removing it. Um, and then of course there's the seals themselves and the paper gaskets. Uh, I think that I got the Loctite on Amazon. Um, you, you also see the oil for doing an oil change and I didn't do that in this video so I, I might do that at a later time. But the, uh, Roloff also has a pretty good video on that. So uh, my Roloff, I retrofitted onto an existing bike and it uses this uh, support arm. I'm not sure if they still sell that. Uh, but anyway, that, that uh, structure comes off first. It's always good to note uh, the orientation uh, of everything that you take off here. So just uh, maybe make some scribe marks on something just to make sure that they go back into uh, the same orientation when you reassemble it. So both this little gear and this uh, disc here just pull right out and they expose the uh, paper gaskets underneath. Okay, next up is to remove the seal. Uh, you see the tool here has a little notch in it and that's going to fit around the seal. And then uh, it really just, and you just end up prying it up. I, I did it with these pliers here. Pull up and it just kind of pops right off. It's worth noting that in a couple of those holes are two springs. And so you wouldn't want to invert the hub at this point and have those springs drop out. So just be careful of that. So this is the press in tool it's in the, and there's the seal. Um, note that the uh, flat side of the seal gets placed against the tool face. That's obviously important. And then uh, you use Loctite 641 uh, around the perimeter of the seal as specified by Roloff. The kit that contains this uh, seal press also contains two screws and uh, they fit into these threaded holes. So you'll see this has to be aligned with, with the holes, the slots align with those threaded holes and then the screws will uh, affix that center ring into the hub to hold it down. And then there's a slot for hex wrench and then the outer ring gets spun to press the seal in place. Okay, now it's time for the new paper gaskets. They just have to be aligned properly. Okay, with that side done, now we can flip the wheel over. And uh, the operation is very similar on the other side. Obviously, the sprocket has to come off. This sprocket was already loose. I've done that before. Uh, that can be a real pain. Um, that could be in a different video. Um, but otherwise, the technique's the same here. Uh, the tool fits around the seal, and then you use pliers. Uh, I imagine you could just pull up on this thing hard enough, and, and it will pop that seal straight out.
So you use the same method here with uh, the Loctite. And then of course this time that inner ring is missing uh, because there's a threaded um, uh, fixation on, on this side of the hub. So you just spin that around. Um, I used the, uh, the center lock to hold that in place while I spun the, the outer ring to press the seal in place. Okay, now it's time for the sprocket to go back on. Obviously this doesn't have to go on tight because the pedaling action will tighten it just fine. On the other side, there's more reassembly to be done. I just put that screw in place to hold that piece. So now it's time for reassembly, and now's when you thank yourself for making those scribe marks we were talking about earlier. I don't recall if uh, Ruloff recommends putting Loctite on these screws, but it just seemed like it couldn't hurt. Okay, it's all back together and clean. It's good to go.